Hello, um, this is Inferno, and today I'm going to be showing a little a uh, combination, a number-based combination lock using buttons, not levers. Um, this is a project I just decided to do because, and um, yeah, <laughs> basically you have a bunch of input and one single output. The output is off when unlocked and on when locked. You could link this into a door or a, I don't know, TNT, whatever, whatever it is you do with redstone. Anyways, um, simply put, all it does is type in a password, which for this one is 5232. And as you type it in, the torches turn off to you know that you've typed in four numbers. This can, that kind of gets laggy though because of all the repeaters. And you simply hit enter, it processes, and as you see, I typed in the correct password. Then you hit reset, and it turns everything back on. So it goes back to starting position. Kind of like a state machine, kind of. Not that I understand the concept of one. So if I were to type in the wrong password, say, uh, 3, 1, 4, 2, it would just be like, lol, no, and stay on. So you hit reset, and type in another password. Fortunately, you can type faster than it can process, and it causes it to be a little wonky because redstone is laggy as hell. But um, I've designed it so that even if you type too fast, it should theoretically work sometimes. And depends on if you're lucky or not, I think. So it's best to type about this speed. I'm sure I could optimize this to run faster if I were to uh, redo all the repeaters because I think repeaters have a delay but uh, manual repeaters with um, two torches and a couple blocks does not and um, here we go here's the circuit this area right here across and in front is the actual lock it takes it pulls from uh, memory which memory is down there it's these this is a uh, four bits of memory used to store buttons you've pushed which uh, it just stores it just stores if it's true or false, correct or not correct. And then uh, another four bits of memory up there stores how many times you push any button. So this just collects and uh, displays the torch at the top. So essentially, you have uh, the RAM, which this whenever you hit a button, it sends it to RAM if, it, if it's correct or not. After process, yes, <laughs> start over. Just hit a button, goes to the circuit, decides if it's correct or not, sends it to RAM, and then. Um, Based on if that's correct or not, it will unlock the next little state, allowing you to get one correct one, correct two, correct three, correct four, and then hit enter to activate the door, which there's another, now that I think of it, there's nine bits, because there's a bit up there to store whether the door is unlocked or not. And um, basically, the passwords are hard-coded because it saves a lot of memory to just store numbers as true or false, instead of storing numbers as numbers, and then checking and or calculating on them. So, overall, it's retardedly complicated for a tiny little door lock, but at the same time, it could be a lot more complicated if I did it differently, instead of using 9 bits of RAM, or memory. I don't think it's really RAM. Ooh. And it's kind of hard to get up there. Now that I've put everything back in place, I think I'll have to go bust a wall out over here. I believe it's this wall. Yeah, see back here is the uh <laughs> here's the uh the counter. I can just show you how it works real quick. Hit a button, adds to the counter, one is now the counter's now at one. Yeah, you can see bit zero is now true. And um if I hit it again calculates now bit two or bit one is oh it didn't work oh. <laughs> well I guess that's a bug or maybe just redstone lag oh something is wrong what did I do oh I moved the button didn't I? yeah what the hell <laughs> 
That's a little bit annoying. I believe it goes here. There you go. Now bit one is true. And, um, if I were to hit it again, bit two would be true as well. I moved that button earlier and I forgot. Bit two is true. And, um, where? Yeah. Ugh, if no one else to show, I mean, lots of horribly laid out circuits, because this is the first time I've done anything complicated at all. Yeah, I guess that's all. Thanks for watching, uh, if you want to play on our server, because this is a public server, um, I'll the post the link in the description. Also, this is the best kind of bridge. No one gets in my... Oh, hey. Spider. What? Oh, okay. Oh god, Spider Brian's after me. No. No. What? No! That spider was evil. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, the server that I run. And uh, we have a couple players and we enjoy more, I'm sure. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and uh, the server will be in the description.